Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Julia and this is Alessandra from Color Analysis Studio and today you are going to see the very first color analysis challenge. So Alessandra and myself are both color analysts mm -hmm. and today we're going to analyze the same person at the same time but Alessandra is going to do an in-person analysis while I am going to analyze the same person digitally. So it's going to be very interesting to yes. see the result. Absolutely. Of course we have to say that this is not the first time that we are doing these tests, right? Definitely. <laughs> so we always want to be very transparent with you guys. Mm -hmm. We did this test many times already yeah. before deciding to offer this service because we wanted to be very sure that the method was reliable enough and it is. It is. But we thought um, that it would have been interesting to show you how an online session works, even because we received many comments yes. um, from people who are a bit hesitant and we totally understand that because they would like to book uh, an online session but they don't know how it works. So they would like to see how we can analyze someone digitally so this is for you guys okay guys so before we start please consider to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media we're on instagram you can find a link below and if you are interested in a color analysis session here in melbourne australia or online please consider to visit our website coloranalysis.au perfect so we're ready to start let's start Okay, Ale, so the room is all yours. Yeah. I'm going downstairs mm -hmm. so you can welcome the client here mm -hmm. and uh, I'll be waiting for the photo. Excellent. Okay. okay. See you later then. See you later and let me start recording. Mm -hmm. All right. See you, Ale. Bye. See you. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, guys, I'm very, very glad to introduce you, Meli. Melissa, please come in. Oh, I'm so happy to have you here today. So nice. Our boyfriends are cousins and she recently moved here to, to Melbourne to study English from Barranquilla, Colombia. Yes. Uh, so Meli, you will be lucky enough today to receive a double service. Okay. So very, very happy to have you here and welcome to our channel. Thanks. Okay, guys, so here I am. I received the photo. So uh, this is Melissa. The photo is correct, so the light appears nice and diffuse, very even and gentle on her skin, not too strong. And uh, she's, you know, wearing a white t-shirt, which is great, a neutral background, the hair tied up. So yeah, I'd say that this photo is perfect uh, to start with the analysis. Sometimes we receive photos that are not good enough from our clients, uh, or maybe sometimes we receive photos, but we would like to see more to be very sure about the result. So in those cases, we just ask the client to send more pictures. We won't start an analysis until we receive high quality material with the light that we want so you don't have to be scared uh, if you don't have you know uh, much experience in taking selfies or taking pictures in general it's fine you know this online method is the same as the in-person one of course the experience is different because you don't do it in person with us in the same room so you don't see the colors in the mirror you don't use the drapes but the result is exactly the same because the process is exactly the same and if the pictures are taken properly there is no doubt that the method works the different person is uh, think that my skin is a little bit yellow i don't know sometimes different persons uh, say oh look like sick i uh, perceive your skin like a uh, a pale skin but also a bit olive uh, an olive yeah. skin tone it will be very interesting guys to see if this uh, yellowish appearance of her skin will match definitely a warm undertone or maybe if this uh, skin tone that is a bit greenish and yellow more towards the olive skin uh, is hiding a cool <laughs> undertone so uh, let's have a look this is very interesting already. So with the two reds, raspberry and tomato. We are comparing a raspberry red, uh, which is cool because the base of this color is blue. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna compare it with a tomato red, uh, more towards the orange. It is of course warm. So don't look at the color, look just at your skin. <laughs> oh. What do you think? <laughs> oh, no. I think that the raspberry is working better. The raspberry is more in harmony. With the warm red, I see some yellowish stuff going on that it's not really 
in harmony. Also, I'm noticing that Melissa has probably a light olive skin, I'd say. Let me go to the pinks. Cool and warm. Oh my God, okay, okay. This is so obvious, guys. Let's see how your skin reacts. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here I'm starting to see a very big, a big change. With the salmon, Melissa loses definition, like dramatically. You are losing a lot of definition, so you are becoming exactly the same color of this, and this is not nice, right? The photo appears blurry, and as soon as I swap the colors and I place the cool pink, the photo appears sharper with a higher definition. It's amazing what colors can do. Look how your skin reacts. Wow, wow. <laughs> that's a very big change, yes. right? So people can't tell you that you are sick with Absolutely. this color 100%. <laughs> so you have a very cool, uh, cool undertone, uh, Meli. It doesn't matter if your skin appearance and color is warm. What we really needed to see during an analysis is your undertone. I think she has a cool undertone. I'm pretty sure that Alessandra is coming to the same conclusion. Blue navy and uh, brown. Yes, the difference is huge, even in this case, right? There, there's no comparison, really. Look at her lips. Even, you know, her skin in general appears very nice and even very smooth. It appears cleaner, more energetic. Her eyes appear more vibrant, full of life, and her lips full of color with the blue navy. With the brown, no. <laughs> Definitely not. It's incredible how your skin looks rested and fresh um, with the blue navy, the cool color, and how it becomes yellow um, with the warm color, with yeah. brown. Yeah. Now let's compare the two whites. Cool white, creamy white. It's very obvious. Look, I, I have no doubt about the undertone at this point. Creamy white versus a cool white oh, wow. oh. look with the creamy white how your skin is yellow yes it's just yellow yeah yes. a lot of light oh, here wow. your skin is glowing now let's test gold and silver with the gold you can really see this olive greenish component of her skin coming out what's happening is that the yellow light coming from the gold is mixing with her cool blue undertone and yellow plus blue originates green. This is why she looks so green olive, okay? Even more than she naturally is. She has light olive skin and, you know, with silver she appears very natural. So this is Melissa. This is a green version of Melissa that uh, is not very in harmony with her real chromatic features. Yeah, no, there's no, no harmony here. No. While in this case, uh, oof, your eyes also pop. Yes. Oh, so right. silver, much better than gold. I would recommend you maybe to remove the gold from your hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Meli, so your undertone is cool. So you will be either winter or summer, depending on your level of intensity. If your level of intensity is high, you will be part of the winter palette. If your level of intensity is low, you will be part of the summer palette. So we are comparing a soft green, sage green, from the summer palette versus an emerald green, bright, from the winter palette. The sage green that is soft is not really enough for your colors. And as soon as I remove the sage and I place the emerald green next to you, mm -hmm. everything is working better, right? Because the emerald is as intense as uh, your colors, as your skin, as your eyes, as your hair. Amazing. This is the correct background for a picture. Oh, okay. Yes. While in this case, uh, the color is almost disappearing oh, you know, yes. next to your colors that are stronger, right? And more yes. intense. Oh, yes. Look, if I have to be very specific, maybe the emerald is even a touch too strong for her, but in a scale between emerald and sage, emerald is winning. Medium high level of intensity, so 
Cool undertone, medium high level of intensity. You are part of the winter palette. Melissa is winter. So winter is bright, deep and cool. So let's see if Melissa's main characteristic is the coolness, the depth or the brightness, or if these characteristics are balanced between each other. In that case, she would be a true winter. The colors from the winter bright palette are a bit too high. So the emerald is fine. The yellow is too strong and also um, it's not doing her justice in terms of undertone. I can already see how softer colors would be better for her. I mean, these colors are still part of her palette, but since I have to be, you know, very picky in choosing her subgroup, the Winter Bright won't be her subgroup. We are starting to get a bit too um, high in intensity, right? So okay. this cyan is working probably is not gonna be your best one. And the magenta as well, look how strong it is compared to your colors, right? Winter deep, violet, stunning, amazing. Okay, oh, wow, wow. That's, that's already much, much better. Okay, so we are going down in intensity a bit compared to the bright, uh, the bright subgroup. Wow, this petroleum is amazing on her, lovely. What do you think about petroleum? Oh, lovely this color. Is working very, very well on you. Look at the difference with the cyan. So winter bright, winter deep. Yes. Winter deep is working better. Ah, oh, orchid, another beautiful option for her. Not too light, not too dark, very cool. Intense, but not too much. Mm, this winter deep palette is working very well. Okay, this is working very well compared to magenta, right? Yes. Winter bright, winter deep. Let me have a look at black. I mean, black works. It works just fine. Well, it's working because you are a winter, right? So yes. it's part of the winter palette. I really don't want to say anything right now because I really would like to compare to navy. So, okay, winter deep is winning compared to winter bright. Let's see if winter cool can do even better than winter deep. Ooh, okay, so cherry red, stunning. Is it better than the deep orchid though? Mmm, mm, they're pretty much even. Everything is correct here, right? Yes. So the level of intensity is correct. Yeah. The undertone is very cool. I really love you in this color. Yes, this is my, my lips. Your lips, it seems that you have a oh, lipstick. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Cobalt, amazing, amazing. So the intensity is a little bit higher than yeah. the cherry red, still perfect, because your level of intensity is medium high. Let me compare it with the cyan from the Winter Bright. So cyan, Cobalt, oh, of course cobalt is working better. It's less intense and it's darker. Pine green, nice, stunning on her. This is a great indicator because the pine green is the softest color that we test out of the winter palette. If uh, your level of intensity was uh, a little bit higher, like a, a winter deep yeah. person, probably this one of you would have been a little bit too soft. So for winter deep and winter bright people, the pine green appears a bit too soft. But for Melly, this is perfect. Okay, this is a great indicator for me. And now we just need to test the navy. <laughs> now we're talking. Navy blue is perfect. I have to do a very interesting comparison because, you know, Winter deep and winter cool are pretty much even at this point. Mm. Let me compare the three main colors of these three subgroups. So I've got cyan for the winter bright, navy blue for winter cool, and black for winter deep. Let's see which one works better. Cyan, no, too light and too intense, no. Navy blue, black. This is the trick to define if a person is uh, winter deep or winter cool. Blue versus uh, uh, black okay. is the key. Mm. Navy blue, black. 
Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, it's, it's a bit too heavy. Look, it's not bad, okay? But um, mm, navy, I think, is working better. Yes, mm -hmm, give you yes. more light, light, right? Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. I know yeah, that yeah. you love black, but I think that uh, navy blue in this case, so winter deep, winter cool, I think that navy is working better. They both work very well, but navy is winning. I can see how the navy blue is a bit more gentle. Navy blue is matching her cool undertone perfectly, way better than black. I also see a big difference in the lips appearance. This gentleness from the navy blue is emphasizing Melissa's natural raspberry lips. Black works, but navy blue works better. So I think Melissa is winter cool. So Meli, this is your palette, yeah. your winter cool. Lovely, lovely this palette, lovely. The only thing that we needed to change is the Oh, hair. yes, yeah. yes, yes. But the analysis is not finished. I want to test colors from the summer cool because if she's winter cool, even colors from the summer cool palette would work. So you can definitely steal some colors from the summer cool palette because they share with you the coolness that is your main characteristic. Mauve. Nice, very cool, a bit too soft, but I was expecting this because we are in the summer palette, so of course colors are going to appear softer compared to her winter cool ones. Being her winter cool, her level of intensity is the lowest inside the winter palette. So it makes sense to think that colors from the summer cool palette who are the highest intensity inside the summer palette are working on her. And this is definitely proof that you are not a summer cool, but you are a winter cool mm -hmm. because this uh, mauve is starting to get a little bit too soft for your level of intensity that is still medium high. Summer red works very well. The cherry from her own palette is better, of course, because she's winter cool, but I can totally see this summer cool color in her wardrobe cherry red from the winter palette, yes. so winter cool, summer cool. Yes. Yeah, it's working better winter cool, Much better. okay, yes. but it's still, it's still working. Savoy, amazing. Because the <laughs> oh, level wow. of intensity is correct, right? Yes. So, Meli, this one is just a proof that you are a winter cool. Yeah. So you can definitely steal some colors from the summer cool palette because you share with the summer cool oh, wow. the coolness. Okay, guys, so this is my verdict. Undertone, cool. Intensity, medium-high. Palette, winter. Subgroup, cool. I really hope that Alessandra is coming to the same conclusion. It appears quite uh, obvious for me. Okay, Meli, so your analysis is done. <laughs> really, really amazing. Amazing, right? Yes, uh, yes. This is a life changer. I think change many things. My clothes, <laughs> my hair. <laughs> Your hair, hey, probably is there. Your clothes actually, they are good. Oh, this yeah. is beautiful cherry oh, red, actually. Yes, yes. Maybe your hair, yes. yes. Your hair, maybe you can remove this golden tone from your hair. Yes. But apart from that, I had a lot of fun, maybe. Oh, Thank yes. you so much Lovely. for, for coming. But uh, I'm very curious to see. <laughs> to call Julia to see if she's, uh, she's done with the online analysis okay. because in the meantime, she was analyzing all, uh, okay. online. Okay. okay so I'm gonna call uh, I'm gonna call Julia. Let's see. Okay. Julia? Yeah, done. Done you? Okay. Yes. Excellent. Let's go. Let's see. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm quite confident. So can't wait to see the result. So ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. How did it go? Was it easy or yeah it I have to say it wasn't too too complicated. How did it go for you? Very good. I didn't have any trouble during that analysis. It was a pretty straightforward, uh, I think, analysis. Okay, okay. So maybe we can say the palette. Uh -huh. uh, maybe we can do three, two, one, name of the palette. Okay. So season first mm -hmm. and then the subgroup, like for example, three, two, one, autumn soft. Okay, okay, for example. okay, okay. 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 So. Very excited. <laughs> Hopefully, we did a good job. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. okay. So, mm -hmm. three, two, one. Autumn soft. 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 Autumn so
one winter cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, it was so <laughs> evident with the yeah, undertone. Yeah, it was very evident. Yeah, yeah the oh, undertone wow. was pretty evident. So uh, at the beginning of the video, I asked Emily some question about her skin tone because mm. I immediately realized that mm. uh, she had actually an olive skin. Yes. Yes. Right. You uh, the light, same. light olive. Yes. Light olive skin. It was very evident uh, this uh, coolness uh, in yes. our characteristics. Right. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Especially with the I found in the analysis with the pinks, it was very yes. evident yes. with the cool the salmon. And salmon. Yeah. And for the subgroup, because for the intensity, I think that there was no doubt that the sage no, was too no, soft. No, yeah, the sage was too soft, so I didn't really struggle too much with the intensity. Winter Deep was actually working very well on you, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 true. So the petroleum, violet, orchid. Uh, or deep orchid was working very well. Very well yes. What makes me decide that Meli is uh, winter cool was the test navy versus uh, black, right? Yes, I did the same even, you know, mm -hmm. digitally with with uh, cyan for the winter bright, okay. uh, navy for winter cool and black for yeah. winter deep, cyan to bright, black good, but navy, navy was, was better. better. That's yeah. typical of a winter cool yeah. person. Okay, so guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. We really hope you had fun. Please consider to subscribe to our channel and to follow us on Instagram. And if you're interested in a color analysis session here in Melbourne, Australia or online, please visit our website, coloranalysis.au. And we're going to see you guys very soon with more videos. And thank you very much, Melissa, oh, for thanks. your time today. Thank you <laughs> thank so much. You. Oh, thank it's you, really, Mary. really, really good. It's very really really good amazing okay, guys thanks. all right thank guys you. we'll see you very soon with more videos bye, bye.